Staff Sergeant Douglas Henderson has the hat and gloves of a chef. I love it. I love it. It's pretty, pretty easy going job. I don't get any hard times out of it. Sergeant Henderson's office comes with cans of food, a couple microwaves, and even an oven. All these help him to complete his job. You know, like somebody actually really enjoying the food, getting kudos for, you know, just doing my job. But his customers are not chow hall visitors. They're actually patients at Aviano's hospital, and he's the diet technician. Altogether, it takes about, say, about an hour altogether for each individual meal. Tonight, he prepares a pork meal with sides for one patient. I'm trying to tell you, it's going to hook up. I'm trying to tell you. That's a regular meal. That's just uh, somebody that's here, they, um, having a, they had their kid, uh, just providing a meal. But what if the person doesn't eat it? It'll hurt my heart. <laughs> 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 it, it, oh man, I, I, I've been heartbroken a couple of times. And that is done. Satisfying the patient isn't the only challenge of the job. The food prep, actually making it presentable to where somebody wants to eat it. Get a little bit of this butter right here. Outside of that, just keeping the temperature and making sure that I'm presenting it to the person hot. It's actually one of the higher points of my day, you know, like going in, seeing a smiling patient, seeing that they're happy to see me bringing the food. And get them moving. Afterwards, Chef Henderson heads back to the prep area and cleans up a bit so he can go home and make a meal of his own. Senior Airman Joshua Atkins, Aviano Air Base, Italy.